development around us, including NBS and Gardens by the Bay, is built on reclaimed land. Land reclamation has increased Singapore's landmass by a whopping 25%. That's equivalent to 8,000 football fields. All the sand needed for land reclamation is imported. Now you can appreciate the price of real estate in Singapore. You can take a look at our right side. Hey, Captain. What we have on our right side now is, of course, the gardens by the bay, and it has uh, three parts from this angle. We have the super trees grove area, the flower dome, and the cloud forest dome. We have a total of 18 of these super trees here. The biggest and the tallest is about 50 meters tall, and the shortest super tree is just around 25 meters high. And these super trees, when it's raining in Singapore, they collect rainwater. How? Look at the shape. It looks like a giant funnel. So the water is collected, they store that, and they use it for the plants on the vertical garden. Because you have to remember, we don't have enough water in the country. So we make use of whatever is made available and the rain is one good source of water. They also have photovoltaic system or something similar to a solar panel. So they would generate energy during daytime and they use it for the lights at night. You will also notice that there are three separate super trees and they are between these two domes. Those are the chimneys of these domes, which means hot air from the domes are released through those super trees. If you can find time, please do visit the Marina Barrage as well, especially on a nice weather like today. There are a few kites being launched right now. You can see that. Perfect place to fly a kite. And if you want to know more about the water system of our reservoir, they have just revamped their sustainable living gallery. You might want to look at that exhibition as well. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you take a look at our right side, if earlier I talked about the NS Square on that side, pretty soon there will also going to be something new around here. They're building something behind those trees. There's construction happening. Would anybody have any idea? What they're building here. It's a new MRT station. Yes, a new MRT station on the Bay East Gardens. This is going to be part of the Thompson East Coast Line. The Brown Line, which just recently opened the first six stations. So that line will go from the north all the way to Chinatown. And if you want to explore uh, Hawker Centers, the Maxwell uh, uh, Maxwell MRT station is just right beside the Maxwell MR, M, R, Maxwell Hawker Center. So it's just a few steps away. So they're building that MRT here. Project completion will be by the year 2027. So about six more years. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick break. It's a bit uh, warm and humid. Please drink your waters, kids. Drink your waters, adults alike. Singapore Grand Prix Pit Building, which is now temporarily used as a COVID-19 medical facility. So we have a total of about 720 beds on the first, second and on the third floor. And there are also some isolation booths in this area. But what's different about this is that it only accepts elderly asymptomatic patients. For those who are unvaccinated, 70 years old and above, 
vaccinated 80 years old and above. Okay, it's almost time to go back, and this is usually the part where I will be playing some games. Okay, so let's all play these games, everybody. This is a very easy and simple game. Let's call this the show me game. Okay, so all you need to do is show me the item that I am looking for. I'm standing here because I can see everybody from this angle. Remember, you have to be quick, you have to be fast. You have to show me the item. And the price is, I have two whistles. Okay. If a family or a group has already won once, let's give a chance to another group. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So you'll be separate two groups because there's six of you. So one, two, three, four, five groups. Okay, so the first item that I am looking for, can you please show me a $2 note. Show me a $2 note. They have a $2 note. Come on, open your wallet. Open your coin first. We're looking for a $2 note. Who has a $2 note? Come on, come on, come on. $2 note. Look there. Okay, we have a winner. The gentleman at the back. Congratulations. Okay, one more, one more. One more, one more. Aha. Ready? I'm looking for something. Please show me. I hope you have this. Show me your hand sanitizer. Show me your hand sanitizer. Come on, come on. Do you have a hand sanitizer? Where's your hand sanitizer? Who has a hand sanitizer? I think mommy at the back has a hand sanitizer. Come on, mommy. Take dip into your bag. Do you have a hand sanitizer? Oh, oh. You don't have a hand sanitizer? Okay. Okay, or I think on this bag also. Come on, let's see. We have a winner here. Congratulations. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Okay, so we will now be heading back to land. Kids, you can also see how the tuck goes up the ramp. See? You can also see the propeller at the back. See? notice on the side here there are one two three aggrets there are three of them on this very streets that we are on right now. 
So hopefully next year they will be back because we missed it for the second straight year. Our schedule this year should have been last October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. One thing that's also nice around this place, despite the fact that we are so close to the waters, is that we have a lot of trees. And these trees actually helps lower the temperature, especially during the summer season. By having these trees, it cleans the air that we are breathing, it provides shade for people to walk under, and it also, what do you mean? Um, clean the air that we are breathing, right? Did I say that? And lowers the temperature. There you go. Be informed also that our Singapore flyer is currently closed for maintenance and replacement works until the 24th of November. They will only resume the following day, the 25th. Also, the time capsule is also closed for the meantime. gentlemen if you take a look outside and you take a look at our buildings here let me point out to you three of our tall buildings around this area starting with the right side okay on this side you have the UOB that building with the red logo on this side followed by the triangular building that looks like a Toblerone bar with the trees on top that would be one raffles place okay and the third tall building in our central business district would be the blue building at the back with the brown corners. I hope you can see it from where you are seated. Okay. All these three buildings stand almost close toe to toe at 280 meters. Okay. Because you know why? You cannot build anything taller than 280 on our financial district because it is within the flight path. Okay. But in Singapore, our current tallest building is now at 200. 90 meters and this is in Tanjong Pagar we call this the Kuku Towers okay? remember about two years ago there was this uh, condominium penthouse that was initially offered for a hundred million but was sold at 74 million then after a year the owner sold it less 15 percent uh, it immediately went down and it was even sold to an, into an Indonesian tycoon Drive. Take a look and observe the trees on our left and our right side. 
lining the road here. These are heritage trees. And these trees, most of them are more than 100 years old now. And these are all protected. And by the way, by the end of this year, this road will be closed to traffic. It's so no more buses, cars, and no more doctors also on this side. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you still have, or your family members or friends still haven't redeemed their Singapore Rediscover voucher, please remind them or use them because there's still no news of any extension. Most likely, they may not extend because remember, this is already the extended period. You don't want to, you know, you might want to take advantage of that for attractions, staycations, uh, but if ever. Um, they don't want to use it. There are some charitable institutions accepting this uh, Singapore Rediscover vouchers. It can also be given to some of our migrant workers who have not visited some of these attractions. So, uh, and it's been ongoing for the past few months now. Okay? So please, uh, deadline is on December 31st. Okay? So redeem if you still have some uh, credits on your voucher. surrendered to the Imperial Japanese Army in 1942. With a small population that comprises just 3.3 million citizens, Singapore cannot afford a large army. The defense of the nation is dependent on conscription. Modeled after the Swiss and Israeli militaries, all male Singaporean citizens who have reached the age of 18 will serve two years of mandatory national service in the police, civil defense, or armed forces. When one completes his full-time national service, he can still be called up for reservists up to a maximum of 40 days every year, till the age of 50. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're now on Beach Road, okay? Now, why do you think was this called Beach Road? Beach. Sir, would you have any idea? Beach Road. Beach. Near the, near the, near the, near the beach. Near the beach, yes, you're correct. Where would the waters be, on this side or on that side? This side, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the very simple reason, this was our beachfront. So, this was called Beach Road. So, this area that we are on right now, on our right side, would have been the open sea. This was where it all started, the land reclamation. So, this side here was reclaimed in 1890. But you know what? That's not the earliest record of land reclamation along this area. 
it even dates back to 1843. Next block. Okay. So if that's the case, then is it right that we call Raffles Hotel a beachfront hotel back then? Yes, it was. It was a beachfront hotel. In fact, the original structure that was built there in the mid-1830s was a private beach house. Then eventually, you no, know, it expanded. It became even a dormitory for the school because there was a school here in this area. It was called Raffles Institution. They, got, they uh, rented it out as a dormitory for the students here and for the, maybe the teachers as well. And then eventually, it was acquired to become a hotel. And this is what we are seeing right now. And to pay honor and tribute to the history of the waters in this area, South Beach just did that by building this roof over here. Look at that roof. This roof looks like the shape of waves. Yes, they look like waves. For the very simple reason, they're telling us the story that this was waters back then. So when the project was completed, the new coastline of Singapore is what we're looking at in front of us. This road here, which is called Nickel Highway. And for many years, Nickel Highway was the coastline of the city until 1972. And that was the year they started land reclamation along uh, Nickel Highway. And it was such a huge project that it took about 20 years. And by 1992, naturally, our coastline was once again moved and changed all the way to the Marina Barrage area, which we saw earlier on the water tour. That is now our waterfront. Will there be more land reclamation in Singapore? Yes. We're going east and west. We cannot go north, Johor Bahru. We cannot go south, the waters would be deep, making the project very expensive. Then the land would also be expensive in turn. Okay? Uh, we lost. I hope the driver is okay. We are now at the heart of Suntec City. Chinese geomancy had a great influence over the architectural design here. Suntec City is modeled after our left hand. Notice the five finger like towers surrounding us? The shortest tower on our left represents the fountain. Positioned in the center of the palm is the world's largest fountain. Uniquely, the water flows inward. According to Chinese geomancy, this signifies wealth flowing into one's palm. If you're in Suntec this evening, remember to catch the free water fountain laser show at 8 p.m. Okay, let's look at that. They said it was uh, influenced by feng shui or Chinese geomancy. Look at your left hand because our thumb is our five. That's the shortest tower. And look, we have towers one, two, three, four. Something looks like this. And the fountain of wealth is in the middle. Water represents fortune, wealth, prosperity. And look at how the waters are flowing. It's going inwards. Because that is to symbolize investments, opportunities, and businesses all flowing and pouring into Suntec City. Tour. Remember to check with our crew at Suntec for your boarding pass privileges. Enjoy great savings to all top attractions in Singapore, such as the Flyer, Universal Studios, Gardens by the Bay, SEA Aquarium, River Safari, Night Safari, Zoo, City Night Tours, and more. Thank you for choosing Duck and Hippo. If there's anything that we can do to make your stay here even more pleasant, please let us know. Gratuities are customary. Feel free to tip any of our deserving crew for good service rendered. Finally, before you alight, remember to take all your belongings. Don't leave anything behind. See you soon. Quack, quack. Oh, no. Is the tour over? Oh. I'll miss you all, especially the little duckies on board. Bye-bye. Do not buy again. Quack, quack. I'll land and see. As we waddle to the left and we waddle to the right. Bonding on the duck ride, our brown rides on the duck tour. On a duck tour. Ladies and gentlemen, please.
remain seated as we drive towards our boarding area and unloading area as well. Please remain seated until our truck has come to a complete stop and the stairs has been attached. Okay, but before leaving the vessel, please check your immediate surroundings for personal items you might accidentally leave behind. On behalf of the whole Singapore team, Singapore Doctors team, we have Captain Tan. My name is Glenn Ford. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.